हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम वंस अगेन टू एम जी मैथ्स एंड स्टैट्स दैट्स एम टी मैजिक स्टूडियो टू यू आई एम योर होस्ट योर दोस्ट एंड एज यूजल इन द घोस्ट मोड मोहित जैन टूडे वी वुड बी सॉल्विंग फ्यू क्वेश्चन विच वी हैव कलेक्टेड फ्रॉम टी सी एस डिजिटल एग्जामिनेशन दे आर अ सॉर्ट ऑफ क्वेश्चन विच वे आर्स इन द प्रीवियस टी सी एस डिजिटल एग्जामिनेशन सैम्पल क्वेश्चन बट यू मे Uh, just solve it just solve it you may get uh, these kind of questions and you know the drill pause the session try to solve it yourself and then look out for the solution so on this note let's start now H sold curtains to S at 12.5 percent loss. 12.5 percent means one eighth at one eighth loss. Then sold it to J. S sold it to J at 14.28 percent profit. 14.28 percent profit means plus one by seven. So if uh, cost price of the curtain was hundred to H. The cost price of the curtain to J would be hundred into one minus one by eight is seven by eight into one plus one by seven is eight by seven. That is hundred itself. So J's purchase price is also hundred. H cost price is hundred. If H has sold the curtains to J directly at five percent loss, obviously it has been sold at ninety five. Or five percent loss, then J would purchase the curtain at what percentage less or more than the price at which she actually bought those curtains? She bought those curtains for hundred. Now, if she purchases for like ninety five, obviously she is purchasing at five percent lesser than its previous price. Option A is the pick. A farmer purchases two kind of fertilizers, F1 and F2. The ratio of potassium to phosphorus in F1 is five is to three, and the ratio of potassium to phosphorus in F2 is five is to eleven. Okay, this is five plus three eight units, five plus eleven sixteen units. He added equal quantities of F1 and F2 to form F3. Which he wanted to spray in his field. What is the ratio of potassium to phosphorus in F3? Equal quantity. Let 16 units of this is taken, then 16 units of this is also taken. So in 16 units of second kind, we will have phosphorus. Sorry, potassium 5 and phosphorus 11. In 16 units of F1, 5, 3, 8. So potassium would be 10, and 3 into 2, 6 would be phosphorus. So in the new mixture. Fifteen is to seventeen is the ratio of potassium is to phosphorus, where we have taken thirty-two units. So the ratio will be same, whatever whether you take sixteen units or one-one units, you will end up getting the same ratio. That is fifteen is to seventeen. Option B is the pick. In a community hall, there are men, women, and children. In the ratio three is to seven is to five. If the number of women are more than men, that means suppose the common ratio is x, seven x minus three x, that is four x. By a number multiple of forty eight, so this is equals to forty eight n. N is a natural number. That means x is twelve into whatever natural number n is. Determine the difference between number of children and men. Number of children and men is five x minus three x, that is two x. So x is twelve n. It should be two into twelve, twenty four times n. And now we can go and check the option. There is only one option, twenty four, which fits in with twenty four times n when n is equals to one. Option D is the pick.
the marking scheme for a competitive examination based on n c q type questions was as under plus 3 for correct answer 0 for no answer and minus 1 for wrong answer in a question paper having 120 question a candidate attempted 60% okay so 40% unattempted 120 40% is 4 into 12 48 so correct and incorrect correct plus wrong is equals to 100 minus 48 or 60% of 120 that is 72 out of which 66 two third percentage that means two third 72s two third are correct that means 24 are wrong and 48 are correct what was her score in the examination 48 into 3 Minus twenty four into one, one twenty one forty four minus twenty four. That is one twenty. Her score in the examination is one twenty. That is in option B. A sum of rupees fifty thousand is lent partly at eight percent and the remaining at ten percent. If the yearly interest on the average is nine point five percent, then what is the amount lent at ten percent? The simplest and the easiest way to solve these kind of question is follow rule six, the jungle rule, and our butterfly diagram. At the end of one year, if the entire money is invested at eight percent, we'll get eight percent interest. If we entire money is invested at ten percent, we'll get ten percent interest. But on an average, nine point five percent interest is achieved, which is written in the center. Now, difference between eight and nine point five is one point five. We are looking out for absolute difference. Please go through rule six. Link is there in the description to delve deeper into the concepts of jungle rule, allegation rule, mixtures, butterfly diagrams, and other animals of the jungle in rule six. Difference between ten and nine point five is zero point five. So this ratio is five is to fifteen. That is one is to three. That means our money fifty thousand is divided in this ratio one is to three. How much is invested at ten percent? At ten percent, we have invested three fourth of fifty thousand. That is thirty seven thousand five hundred. At ten percent, thirty seven thousand five hundred is invested. Okay, one more from interest. In this time, it is compound interest. Two questions are there in digital advance section from interest. That's for sure. An amount deposited in the bank gives zero point one two five times of the principal annually. That means interest rate is zero point one two five into hundred. That is twelve point five percent per annum. If the amount deposited is twenty four thousand. Then how much would it yield in two years compounded annually? We know the formula for amount that is P into one plus R by hundred whole square. That is twenty four thousand into one plus twelve point five by hundred whole square. We can use our on screen calculator and that will give us thirty thousand three hundred and seventy five. Option B is the pick. cost price obviously a question from profit and loss you need to bracket profit and loss percentage mixtures everything may be asked combiningly combined in a one single question cost price of an airport is 750 more than that of a white board is 750 plus white board bought by mahi the white board is sold at a loss of 7.14% So the cost price was seven point one four percent is one fourteenth. So that means it was sold for. If a W is a white board cost price is W, then selling price of white board is thirteen by fourteenth.
of the cost price and the selling price of airport is 2550 selling price of airport is 2550 great find the profit loss percentage incurred on selling the airport if the shopkeeper neither face loss nor profit in the whole transaction so total selling price is 2550 plus 13 w by 14 minus let me do the cost price or this is equals to the cost price because there is no profit or loss so cost price in terms of w we need cost price of w is w and cost price of airport is 750 plus w so this will be 750 plus 2w 2550 minus 757 1800 equals 2w minus 13w by 14 14 into 2 28 minus 13 is uh, 15 15w by 14 so w is 1800 into 14 by 15 so that is what 1800 into 14 by 15 1680 bingo cost price of airport is 750 plus 1680 Zero three one fourteen two four three zero. Now, what is the question? Find the profit and loss incurred on selling the airport. Cost price two four three zero. Selling price is two five five zero. Obviously, there is profit. Two five five zero minus two four three zero. Profit of one twenty. Profit percentage is one twenty by CP into hundred. One twenty into hundred by two four three zero will give four point nine three. Four point nine three percent profit plus four point nine three. Option C is the pick. Okay, sample question from time, speed, and distance. You will get two questions from this. A goods train travel at a certain average speed for a distance of 54 km and then travels a distance of 63 km at an average speed of 6 kph more than its original speed. If it takes 3 hours to complete the total journey, what is the original speed? So that original speed is x km per hour, then time would be distance by speed. Plus distance by speed is equals to three. Now we can use any of the option and can check very easily which option fits in. Forty-eight, sixty-three, thirty-six, anything you feel like. Let's start with the forty-five. So fifty-four by forty-five, nine six five. That means and uh, sixty-three by fifty-one, three. Twenty-one, three seventeen. Somehow, would won't be able to get three. So either you plug in the options, or you may also solve it. It's all up to you. So if I take a nine common, this is six six x plus thirty six plus seven x upon x into x plus six equals three gone three seven and three thirty nine. Thirty-nine x plus thirty-six one zero eight equals x square plus six x, or x square minus thirty-three x minus one zero eight is zero. One zero eight was thirty-six into three, so we'll get x minus thirty-six into x plus three, which will give us x equals to thirty-six. What is the original average speed in kilometer per hour? That is thirty-six. Option C fits in. If you can get it by plugging it in the equation which you have found, please do it. Whatever fits in. Option C is the answer. Whenever we have this thing that A is proportional to B or A is directly proportional to B. we can write this as a1 b1 is equals to a2 b2 and if it is a is inversely proportional to b 
वी कैन से ए वन बी वन इज इक्वल्स टू ए टू बी टू दिस इज द बेसिक नॉम इन क्लेचर दैट वी यूज इन वेरिएशन क्वेश्चन दैट वी विल बी यूजिंग इन दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन रिसेंटली द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया लॉन्च द प्रोग्राम इंडिया टॉय फेयर टू एनकरेज इंडियन टॉयज एंड एनकरेज आर इंडियन इंडस्ट्री मैन्युफैक्चरिंग टॉयज एंड इंडस्ट्री प्रोड्यूसेज टू हंड्रेड टॉयज वेन फोर आर्टिस्ट वर्क फॉर सिक्स आर ईच विद फोर मशीन्स वेन एट आर्टिस्ट वर्क फॉर फाइव आर ईच विद नाइन मशीन्स हाउ मेनी टॉयज कैन बी प्रोड्यूस्ड गिवेन दैट नंबर ऑफ टॉयज प्रोड्यूस दैट इज टी इज डायरेक्टली प्रपोर्शनल टू नंबर ऑफ आर्स दैट मीन्स वी विल हैव टी वन अपॉन एच वन इक्वल्स टी टू अपॉन एच टू and it is also directly proportional to square of the number of artists that is a so we will multiply here with number of artist square of that and square root of number of machines that is m so we we'll multiply this by root m1 and this will be root m2 this is the relationship what we will get using this variation concepts so now it is just to plug in all the values and find the value of t2 which is missing 200 by root m is 2 h1 is 6 a1 is square is 4 is square 16 that is equals to t2 upon root m2 is 3 h2 is 5 and a2 is square is 64 so 2 gone 100 3 6 2 32 62 times so t2 equals 100 into 5 into 2 10 that is 1000 so they would be producing 1000 toys that is in option c